Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're an OG watcher of the channel, you'll know Jake, not only from our trip, uh, driving through half of Mexico together, but we went to Romania together. Whoa, whoa, bro. I'm Look overwhelmed at this. with this. Jake's a good friend of mine, I met in Cancun, and uh, we both have a lot of experience traveling. He's come from Birmingham today. What are your first impressions of Liverpool? Bro, Liverpool's a beautiful city so far. It's a uh, fresh sea breeze. Yeah. You know, feeling connected to the history, mm -hmm. iconic city. So I'm looking forward to exploring it more. Yeah, I thought the best place to take him to start off with is the Anglican Cathedral. Today's topic of the video is how me personally, I've found my mindset has been elevated and helped from the amount I've traveled during my twenties. It just broadens your perspective on life and um, without it, I would be much more a small-minded person. How about yourself? Yeah, 100%. They say uh, travel broadens the mind and I think that's completely correct. Like just going to different parts of the world, experiencing different cultures, mm. it expands your, your perception of what's normality and what's, yeah. what's possible in life. So I was traveling around uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam. It's just beautiful experience in like a whole different culture. Like Asia is so different to anywhere else I've been. And I came back feeling invigorated and ready to yeah, chase my dreams. <laughs> One realization I've come to is the fact that now, in the modern age, English is an international language. I was just saying, if, if a Spanish person and a French person meet in Thailand, they are gonna speak English. One thing it made me realize was how important it is to be able to actually communicate in English and have a mastery over the English language. So that's something I've been really working on personally. Another benefit for me is experiencing a different style of life, which, allows you to see what's possible because when you grow up in a certain place you don't necessarily know what the possibilities are you're limited to the environment that you exist within right guys i hope you uh, enjoyed the little jog as I remember that I had a haircut. The good thing about traveling at a young age is you it brings you out of your comfort zone. Because of my traveling, now I feel more comfortable in uncomfortable situations, which really has benefited my life. Maybe first time I met my girlfriend, I wouldn't have been as confident and as comfortable, and it wouldn't have led to a second date had I not went to Mexico and improved my skills by getting outside my comfort zone. And traveling is a fantastic way to do so because when you've spent your whole life in one particular place with one particular mindset to go out and allow other opinions to infiltrate your mind is really empowering and freeing people from all around the world have very different like ways and mannerisms about them they have different cultural upbringings so learning to communicate with someone from england versus a girl from ukraine yep. or versus uh, a guy from Mexico or an old an old lady from Thailand it's yeah. like you encounter all of these different people and like you said it, en it enhances your own character and the world now I think is becoming more and more international like with the internet we're becoming more connected than ever and I think developing these skills where you're able to connect with people from all around the world is, is so crucial in, in this day and age Welcome to the Alva Duck. This and the beer pier head in the distance are my favorite parts of this, this wonderful city. Now I wanna ask, what do you prefer? Mexico or the three countries you visited Ooh. in Southeast Asia? It's a tough question because they offer very different things. Yeah. They both have a very beautiful nature. 
They both have really nice people. Mm -hmm. I'd say Mexico is more for you if you want a really wild experience, if you want yeah. something that's fiery, something that's passionate. Whether it's the food, whether it's the women, whether it's the culture, everyone's very energized, everyone's I very it. animated. And it's, it's my favorite country for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whereas, whereas Thailand's a lot more tranquil, a lot more calm, a lot more peaceful. I didn't expect that. Man. Yeah, I mean, it's still got a rush because there's loads yeah. of tourists, but the, um, the religion of uh, Buddhism is prevalent in Thailand. Yeah. And the whole kind of doctrine of Buddhism is very much about calm and meditation and peace. So uh -huh. that's kind of one of their highest uh, values that they value in their society. So everyone's in general very calm and relaxed and it has that type of energy to it, yeah. And there we have it, man. Probably, probably my favorite building in the world. In the world? Yeah. It's a big statement. It reminds you of home, right? I believe, I believe that must be the reason, yeah. yeah. It is very beautiful. Yeah, it's incredible. And also, over here you have, you know, the locals don't really pay much attention to this. But as you can see, you have the Beale statue. We have the lava building in the background. It's absolutely powerful, man. I love it. I love yeah, it. Iconic. Right, guys, I really appreciate you watching today. It's been good to see Jake after all this time. Yeah, man. It's been a pleasure, and, bro. Yeah. And discuss the benefits we both got him from traveling. I do, genuinely do have a lot of experience out in the world. This helped shape me into. Um, the person I am and I sure would be a completely different person had I not experienced them things to which I'm very grateful and I would recommend anybody and um, try try to do it a little bit as much as you can um, and if you have it if you want any tips feel free to reach out to me or Jake who is also a youtuber so here's your chance to plug your yes, channel sir, yes sir so my channel is Genesis Evolving and uh, we have the Truth Seekers Only podcast for those of you who want to level up and you like the long form content, teach you about cultivating the power of the mind, the power of the body. And I also make vlog style videos, which you're going to see the man himself, Zach Jones, <laughs> in the next episode. And uh, yeah, I'm also making a vlog video of today. So we've uh, had a lot of workout footage, a lot of the same stuff in this video, but from a different perspective. Mm. So come check it out, show some love guys. and. Uh, Big up to everyone who, uh, who comes over from there. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash the like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I drop two of these style videos a week. You don't want to miss them. Goodbye. Peace, guys.